Hey, what's going on guys? Rakeem Madison here and on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to avoid paying Coinbase fees, specifically network fees. Now, how this all started was one day I was transferring from my Coinbase to my Exodus account and I was at, initially I was just going to transfer it all out of Coinbase um, into my Exodus wallet, right? But when I put the 50 that was in there, uh, to try to send it. I noticed that there was a $16 charge on top of that and that immediately changed my mind. I was like, no, 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 not happening. Right. So, uh, I think it was about 70 bucks. Right. So no, no, wait, 60. And then wait, uh, it was 16. So 66, it was like 66 bucks. And I was like, no, 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 no. I'm trying to transfer 50. I wasn't expecting that. So um, when I seen that, I was like, all right, I'm just going to transfer like 20 um, to my Exodus wallet. And then I'll just pay the uh, I'll just pay the $16 this time. So I thought, you know, I thought that was that was probably going to be it. And it was probably going to go down. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. Right. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. So the next time um, I didn't I wasn't actually going to transfer. I forgot why. Um, I was on Coinbase and I just happened to see that the network fees um, were ridiculous, right? And I'm actually going to show you. So if I go to accounts, all right, and if I go to, um, I'll, I'll pull this up, I'll pull send up, right? Because I'll go over here now to my Exodus wallet and then I'll hit receive and then I'll click on my BTC address for my Exodus wallet. And if I go over here back to send, I hit send right there in the BTC wallet. As you can see, I have $43.60. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down. So right here, you see the network fees is zero dollars, <laughs> zero. Now, you don't see any network fees right now, but as soon as I put my BTC address, that's all I'm going to change. All right. So as you can see, it's almost 24 bucks to transfer anything anywhere <laughs> so it does not matter what I put in here as the amount they're gonna add that twenty three dollars and seventy seven cents to whatever I'm trying to transfer which is absolutely ridiculous all right all right so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna put one hundred dollars in there so yeah I don't have any enough funds in there but it's still gonna show the total so let's take a look at the total they added so not only I get my I'm going to uh, transfer my hundred, but I'm also going to be paying twenty three dollars and seventy seven cents on top of that, which is pretty ridiculous once again. <laughs> All right. So now it's time for the solution, right? Because obviously we don't want to pay ridiculous fees. But from my knowledge, though, um, I believe that these high fees are going to just be temporary. I don't feel like they're going to be long term. I think a, a lot of it is because of the traffic that is coming into the cryptocurrency industry, specifically Bitcoin, due to the fact that it's the most popular. And that's just my knowledge. If I'm wrong, you know, let somebody let me know in the comments if you know exactly what's going on. But that's what it is, you know, from my knowledge. All right. So let me get to the solution because I don't like to waste your time. All right. So let's go over here to GDAX. Right. So GDAX. Let me kind of explain the comparison between Coinbase and GDAX. So if you have a Gmail account right now, you also have a YouTube account. That's the same comparison that uh, Coinbase and GDAX have. So Coinbase actually owns GDAX. The only difference is on Coinbase, this is where you buy and sell. Over here, GDAX is Coinbase's trading platform. So one more time, buy and sell your BTC, Litecoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash. This is where you're mostly buying. Over here, this is the trading platform. So if you're trying to get involved in trading cryptocurrencies, this is what you would most likely want to use. I mean, there are other trading platforms out there. Um, but in this case, since we're on GDAX, I'm just kind of explaining that this is their trading platform. So they belong to them. So another thing you want to keep in mind is when you go to, to, to GDAX.com, you're not going to create a new account. Because like I said, if you have a Coinbase account, 
you preferably have a um, GDAX account as well. All you're going to do, I'm actually going to show you. So I'm going to sign out. All right, so this is the home page that you're going to come to um, when you, when you uh, go to GDAX.com. Now, you don't want to hit this because you already have an account. You just have to sign in for the first time. You're going to hit sign in, and they're going to ask you to sign in with your Coinbase credentials. Once you sign in with your Coinbase credentials, it will log you in. Now, another thing that you're going to have to do to verify your uh, your identi identity is to uh, upload and upload uh, maybe your driver, mostly, yeah, your driver's license, because that's what I use. I uploaded my driver's license. Make sure you do that on Coinbase. Now, the, the, the easiest way to do it on Coinbase is to do it on your phone. So once you get Coinbase and your Coinbase number, also download the uh, mobile app on your phone. Once the app is on your phone, then um, you can go to like your settings and then you can upload your uh, driver license. That would be the easiest way, the easiest way. Because if you try to, because um, I was having issues at first, and if you try to do it like on GDAX, it's going to give you some issues. So you want to do it through Coinbase, but through the mobile app. Excuse me. And that's the easiest way. Now, let me actually show you how to transfer your BTC from one place to another. Now, it is a few steps involved, but let's get it. Let's do it. All right. So what you're going to do is let's say you want to send money out of Coinbase to somewhere else, whether it's an opportunity or another wallet. Let's show you how it's done. All right, so you're going to go, let me go back and sign into GDAX. All right. Adam. All right, I'm almost there. Hopefully I put the right password in. If not, we'll find out. All right, there it is right there. Let me go ahead and put my uh, two-factor authentication code in. All right, looks like we got a four, four, one, hit enter. All right, so we're in, right? So we're back on GDAX. Now I'm going to make this real quick. You see right here where it says deposit? You're going to hit deposit. Now you see where it says Coinbase account. Remember I said they are connected. Coinbase owns GDAX. So if you hit Coinbase account, they already have connect, they already connected to your Coinbase account. So this is what it's what is in my Coinbase account right now. So what I want to do is I want to put the amount of BTC that I want to send over. So I'm going to go to back to my Coinbase account. I'm going to click on the send and I'm just going to type a number uh, an, an amount in just to try to send some just to see what it is in BTC. All right, so $5 and BTC is 0 0.00031. So what I want to do is I want to hit copy, and then I'm going to go back over here to GDAX, and I'm going to paste that right there. So, so far, we went to deposit. It popped up on the bank wire. We're going to go to Coinbase. We're going to put the amount of BTC in BTC. Make sure you calculate that, right? It already has your Coinbase stuff, so you're good to go there. All right, so at this point, I want you to I want you to read this with me. Uh, processing time, Coinbase transfers are instant and free. One more time, Coinbase tran transfers are instant and free. So the last step that you have to do to deposit your funds into GDAX first, deposit funds. Boom. You have successfully deposited 0 0.00031000 BTC, right? So if you look there now, there is 0 0.01030000 because I've transferred a few times just to make sure that this was actually working with no fees at all. So if you look right here, let's go back to my Coinbase account now. Let's uh, refresh the screen. All right, so as you can see, this is what I just transferred. I did two other ones earlier just to, um, you know, test it out to see if it was actually working. 
but here is my transaction right here 0 0.00031 BTC and um, let's uh, let's look at my uh, let's see here um, accounts all right so here here's the transfer right here 0 0.00310000 let's go back 0 0.0031 BTC right I sent over five dollars since I sent it over it went to five dollars and three cents right because BTC just went up all right so as you can see there was no fees now here's the second part of this video all right so I'm gonna click back on GDAX right there now let's say you want to send it over to an opportunity such as like BitConnect, Hashflare, uh, Swiss Gold Global all those other companies and opportunities where you can pretty much earn passive income from to avoid those fees because nobody wants to pay a ridiculous network fee and where it's basically taken away from their uh, you know what they're going to be investing into any one of those platforms so we're going to hit withdraw all right so as you can see it's already on the coinbase account but that's not what you're going to use this time you're going to use btc address so it's really as simple as this so if i wanted to send it to a beat uh send it to um either one of those opportunities whatever the btc address that whatever one of those opportunities gives you like for example if i were to use the btc address to bring btc into a uh, bit connect i will put that address right here and then once again btc amount so make sure you go over here to try to calculate you know how much you need to send um if you're going to bit connect the minimum is 100 dollars right so what you want to do is you want to type in 100 dollars and see how much that is in btc um it doesn't seem to actually be doing it right now Oh yeah, because I don't have a BTC address in there. Um, let's go to let's just hit receive. Let's just put this wallet in there for now. Um, hit send again. We're gonna hit enter BTC address. All right, so let's put one hundred dollars in there. One hundred dollars. Oh man. All right, so one hundred dollars is zero point zero zero six one. So what you would do is you will put that amount in here and put the BTC address that it needs to go to and then if you have a two two factor authentication code you're going to enter that here and then what you're going to do is you're going to hit withdraw funds once you do that it's going to pretty much do what it did when I uh, did the deposit and I hit it it said uh, successfully sent that's exactly what it's going to do there now granted it is going to a different platform so it may take a little bit of time but as you can see I did not pay any fees to send it from Coinbase to Coindex, uh, GDAX. All right. So with that being said, I hope that you got massive value from this video. And honestly, you're definitely going to save yourself some money because I, I was very close to spending <laughs> $30 to send my money. But I, I, I just couldn't do that. Right. I needed a solution. So I hope I was the solution for you today in this video. And like I said, if you got value, smash that like button right now. If you haven't yet subscribed, be sure to do so. So with that being said, I look forward to seeing you in the next video, my friend. Peace.